from data git bunc share with a link to sql from the toolbox drag the data grid view in the windows form application resize the data grid view remember that the data grid view name is data grid view 1 click on the right of right of data grid view and click on the edit column add four text box column in the data grid view the name of the text box column is id name address and p as like as your database table name table column table column also id name address and age after adding the text box column just click on the add and ok you can resize the age column because age is uh, not so uh, big character that's why you can resize the age column and address is a bit big that's why this is a bit big and reset the grid view too to display the column perfectly now add a button control uh, what do you want to uh, add the adding code the text of the button is insert in sql table double click in the button to, to go to the click event now uh, now in the form load event write the code data grid view one dot auto generate column equal to false you should uh, avoid the auto generate column e if you do, if you don't want to avoid auto generate column if you don't uh, use auto generate column equal to false then the column will be duplicate now in the button click event write the code for integer i equal to 0 the index of the row is from 0 in the c sharp dot net that's why i equal to 0 and i less than data grid one dot rows dot count what count it will count less than uh, less than the counted row now i plus plus it will loop and plus one first of all zero uh, index zero number row then number one then number two all row will read from the data grid view by loop for now declare the variable integer id string name string address and double s because of your database column also id is integer name is bharkar bharkar always declare string and address always declare a string the id is integer so it's integer and remember that the float as is float float allow the decimal always convert the float to double in the c sharp data in the database column it, uh, this is float that's why I, I use the variable as double in the id column i took the first index first rows first cell zero zero number rows and zero number cell the id will took from the data grid view in id variable 0 is the row index i row index and the cell is the column index column is also 0 dot x then second second column this is the first column first row then first row second column the first row second column is name name is string that's why uh, you should uh, erase the converter to integer no need to converter to integer in the string just uh, re just rename the cell column column index column index is one row row zero column one then row zero column two address then age convert dot to double the double edge is double that's why it's need to convert to double if you don't convert to double it will not support the decimal sorry wrongly put a error text i am extremely sorry it will be value dot to string and copy the value dot to string and replace it with 
error text in all rows. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna write uh, adding code have as equal to new my info tab. The my info tab is the table name. What you already connected with the link your data class on DBML file. Insert want to extract a value name from the student to table. get insert delete the update charts and connecting interest. SQL database with Shisha project see this video this is my link view the dbml file this is the table I just drag and drop from the server explorer uh, you can see it in my previous video how to connect uh, with link view to your project in csharp now highest equal to new my info tab id id is the database column and id is the uh, id is the that ID what we will took from the data grid view name is the name column and address is the address column address uh, address column and the address will uh, will take from the data grid view s will take from the data grid view as is s what I declare the variable is and now write the code db sorry I did not uh, uh, I did not call the context dbml context call the dbml context data class one data context this is the my link to files uh, name data class one uh, data context db to new data now db will uh, find you food db the data the, the table name automatically come into the after dot and for table insert on submit st db dot submit chain okay this it was my code to insert data from the data grid view into database table now I am gonna add another text box it will be read only to display the message it just display the message we don't put anything in this text box the name of this text box is message msg add and then put the text box in the down it will go to the right side of this data grid view research the data grid view ok this is the form now it is completely shown ok guys I think you understand if you don't understand perfectly just comment I will hide I will highly try to reply your comment okay I I took another data another data grid view to display what I inserted in the first data grid view into database table create the method to display insert data in second grid void load void means who it will not return any value just display what I put the code by equal to from s in db dot my info tab DD, db is the uh, my context uh, context and my info tab is the database table select s s means all column of the my info tab data grid view under data source equal to st in the data grid view 1 data grid view 2 all column will display in the data grid view 2 what i inserted from the data grid view 1 load data when i click in the button it will automatically display in the second grid view now just debug sorry start position you can change the forms so start position center screen you can put same if you uh, use center screen it will uh, display in the center of the screen now fill the grid id name address is id1 name rash address usa age 12 insertable oh I'm sorry it's display another error with the index as index is being three but I I keep it as one zero that's why it's uh, happened this problem again try uh, fill the detected view you can uh, you can insert multiple row in one click Oh, sorry. I think uh, I can fail, but I don't. Uh, I don't uh, 
uh, accept the priority I must success sorry the error happened in last blank row so so in the loop avoid last row to avoid the last row you should uh, uh, you should minus you should minus one in the count then it will be okay in the for in the for loop count after count put minus one just put minus one then then uh, it will avoid the last blank row follow the cursor that I give you one dot row count minus one okay now just debug in the form load event you can uh, use the call the method load data then if any data exist at the debugging you can you can see what available what is uh, exist in the uh, table that is table now fill the data grid view id one name os rush address ctg is 20 yeah, just uh, add second row to id2 name john and fill all row whatever you want how many row you want first of all you fill remember that id and age cannot be blank if you keep it blank it will uh, it will show an error message now if I click insert then it, the, it's displayed the success message and all record are already entered in the uh, uh, database table and you see in the second data grid view now another one I just trying another uh, ID 5 name from address USA is 70 okay insert sorry tr can insert it it is also success now you can see all the record are already inserted in the data grid view the database